Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, May 1. For me, it is 10 o'clock in the morning. For you, it may be later. Solutions to problem 142. High school problem. Four different questions. The first question is, I throw an object up at a certain angle. It goes up and it goes down and it reaches its highest point after two seconds and there is air drag and the question now is will it take longer for it to fall down from the highest point compared to when it goes up to the highest point or will it go shorter when it goes down the question the answer is clearly it will take longer for that object to fall down and the reason is very simple I want you to read this with me as the object goes up the component of the resistive force in the vertical direction is the same direction as the gravitational force mg see the figure so here the resistive force and the, sun and the gravitational force are both down here, the gravitational force is down, but the resistive force is up. In other words, the net force here, in down direction, is smaller than the net force there, and thus it takes longer. Then the object is all the way down, the y component of the resistive force is in the opposite direction. Thus the component of the force in the y direction is smaller on the way down than on the way up. Thus, it will take longer than two seconds to come down. Next question. We have a pendulum, and the pendulum has length L, and it is in an accelerator. <laughs> Sorry, it is in a elevator. <laughs> And the elevator is accelerated down with an acceleration A, which is 5 meters per second square. And the question now is, what now is the period of that pendulum in comparison with the period of the pendulum if the elevator would not be accelerated at all? The period of a pendulum is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. So in this case, since the net acceleration is G minus A, the new period T prime is 2 pi times the square root of L divided by G minus A, and G minus A is 5. And when it was not being accelerated, it was 10. So it's obvious that T prime is the square root of 2 times larger than t. If the elevator were accelerated upwards, then the period of oscillations would be shorter than t. But now it is larger. Before I show you the solutions to questions 3 and 4, let's read the problem again, because it's not a pendulum in this case. A particle moves in one dimension, the x direction, as a function of time. x is minus 0.3 times the sine of 2t plus phi over pi over 4. And x is in meters and t is in seconds. So the third question is, what is the frequency in Hertz of this simple harmonic oscillation? And the fourth question is, what are the times in seconds at which the speed of the particle is maximum? So here you see the solutions. Clearly omega is 2. <laughs> And since the period is 2 pi divided by omega, and the frequency is 1 over t, 
which is omega divided by 2 pi. So the frequency in Hertz is 1 over pi. Piece of cake. The last question, the speed is maximum when x is zero, because then the object goes through its equilibrium point. In other words, when the sine of 2t plus pi over 4 is zero. This happens when 2t plus pi over 4 is n times pi, n being 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3. So it happens at the time pi over 2 times n minus a quarter seconds. Alternatively, uh, if you calculate the velocity, which is minus 0.6 times the cosine of 2t plus pi over 4, then you can find the maximum speed and you find the exactly same times that you found here. Okay? Well, it was a simple high school problem. If any of you could not do it, I really suggest uh, that you brush up on this very, very simple, simple harmonic.